Out here on the front of DIV on the plaza, the sun came out just in time to capture the great shadows and details in this snowman right here. Jeff Lowe, we are talking about the Plymouth Ice Festival, always a great time, multiple sculptures all across downtown Plymouth, which is like a winter wonderland. Uh, tell us about the intricacies of, of what Robert is doing here with this blowtorch. So right now, Rob is finishing up on the ice carving. So he's using the blowtorch on the ice to kind of clean up any of the imperfections and to put that nice sheen that everyone likes. Now, how do you end up with ice that's clear enough to work with as a sculpture as opposed to cloudy ice or ice that cracks? You have to use a, a particular kind of water, distilled or anything like that? No, uh, the water is just regular tap water. It's through the manufacturing process. There are specialized machines that use filters. Uh, and pumps to keep the water flowing so that when it freezes, it comes out crystal clear. Okay, I'm going to ask you to, without tripping on that cord right there, let's go over here, Michelle, and look at some of the tools of the trade we've got here. We've got a chainsaw. We have what looks like a crazy man's Dremel kit. I mean, where do you acquire all this stuff? Those are a lot of specialized tools. There's only a few suppliers in the world that offer it up. Um, as far as all the power tools go, they're just your standard power tools that you can get from a store, just adapted to use the specialized bits that you see uh, sitting out front right there. All right, James Geetson, let's bring you in and talk about the festival in general. How many different carvings, how many different artists, food, fun, frivolity, everything for the family? We will have over 100 different ice carvings in downtown Plymouth uh, throughout the weekend. Um, they're, they're located throughout downtown Plymouth in front of the stores and even down in Kellogg Park is where our bigger ones are. Uh, there is the DTA Energy Foundation tubing run uh, that will be open all three days so people can go and uh, experience something other than just the ice. They can uh, take a slide down the run um, along with our Genesis Credit Union carving competition that happens on uh, Saturday and Sunday morning. Uh, we have the cross country zone uh, for the kids to try out cross country. If they've never done that before, it's a fun time to get out and do something that you wouldn't normally get to do in the wintertime, and that's get outside and have some fun. What about like uh, old warming tents or hot chocolate or, you know, duck it into a local mom and pop or a, a watering hole? Absolutely. The festival has a lot of different food options, uh, and we do have a heated uh, warming, uh, we call it the Ellers Heating Cooling Hot Spot, um, where there's different vendors in there. And as always, there's you're just a few steps away in downtown Plymouth from great food and, uh, and different restaurants to, to go in and, and have a good time. Uh, so what is, uh, we were talking earlier in the show, Rich Rice and, and myself both having grown up in the Plymouth suburbs, uh, you know, going to movies at the Penn Theater and going downtown, yeah. getting shoes at the shoe store there. What is Plymouth like now, these days? Plymouth has still got that small town charm to it, and uh, you definitely, if you haven't been to Plymouth, it is a hidden gem of Wayne County, and uh, you want to check it out for sure. Okay, real quick, where and when is the festival? The festival is in downtown Plymouth this weekend, uh, the 11th, 12th, and 13th. Uh, we're open each day, all day. Uh, you can come check us out, and if you want more information, you can look us up on the web at www.plymouthicefestival.com. PlymouthIceFestival.com. James, thank you. Jeff, thank you. Rob, thank you. Nice work. I brought the sun out just for you guys. Oh, thank you. You are very welcome.